So we're down here to uh, see Marshall's new boat. So Marshall and I <clears throat> shared this boat for probably, what, almost eight, nine years. We shared it for a long time. And um, <clears throat> I was going to sell it. And so that's when he started looking around for another boat. So to some degree, I guess the sharing allowed him to figure out what he wanted in a boat and, um, you know, kind of get his feet wet. <clears throat> he'd, I don't believe he'd ever captained a boat prior to that. So then, then that's when he started looking for this one. And this sucker is a beast. I think it's huge. And very quiet because you're so high above the boat, uh, above the engines and that sort of thing, that it's just kind of peaceful up there. So tell me about this boat, Marshall. <laughs> well, I can tell you, uh, I'll tell you about the history in just a minute, or did you want to see what I was going to show you a minute yeah, ago? Yeah, go ahead. So what I was just showing you a minute ago, so when I bought the boat, the boat had all CRT TVs in it, so your old, big, honking TVs. Uh, and so, but then I decided to move the TV up here, and so then it's you know mounted and can adjust or whatnot, so you know, you, get a little obviously much bigger TV a little bit wider range of motion and you can see we I did the mounting oh, yeah. nice. and uh, just ran the wires back through you can't so. really even see it in here uh, but on the back of the boat actually you can see the logo slightly glowing down in there um, it actually has in motion direct TV huh. specifically but uh, for right now as you know sometimes I like to come out and you know work on the boat so I've just you've been using, I've been storing the monitor, my extra monitor that I'll sometimes use. Covers up. Um, did it come with the plant? It did come with the plant, interestingly <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah just bone. They, they just pull up and down. Um, the uh, all the windows have actually been tinted for that Texas sun. Yeah, and then the. Uh, but it really kind of makes it, especially when you're cruising, I brought my mom out. Uh, and so when you're cruising along, it's nice to be able to actually be in here as much as it is mm -hmm. upstairs. Cause you got a good view. Because you have just such an amazing view. So it has these mm. that I could put over here. I've only put the front one on because it blocks that, blocks that other sun for the moment. I'll probably keep the rest of them off those. Um, the microwave, interestingly enough, is also an oven, mm. which is neat. That's cool. Um, and then, of course, it's got the a refrigerator, but then it also has a full freezer too, which has been really nice because we've been keeping ice down there and things mm -hmm. like that. So that that's been helpful. That's handy. The amount of storage on this boat is unreal. Um, there are things that I still have not gotten into. Um, <laughs> It'll be a dead body. Well. I mean, Clay found this actually yesterday because I, there's storage under here that I hadn't even gone into yet. And I guess it's for a very expensive cigar. Cigars, yeah. Um, but he was like, oh my God, that's really nice. And then there's a front uh, berth, which again, um, so <laughs> you'll see in the back, I've already actually done it. Uh, but over here was the old CRT television mm. and I've got a replacement flat screen that is being mounted in there yeah. Yeah. and then <clears throat> so then in here you know great closet space oh wow look at that um, you know on the you know, both sides so closet space there and closet space here nice of course so that this is the front Birth bathroom or you know guest bathroom because it's right off the kitchen here um, and uh, it has a full stand-up shower um, and uh, you know head separate so you're not uh, showering over the toilet it, that shower is huge 
Oh, you should you wait till you see the other one. The other one has a seat in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Queen bed with a uh, nice walk around. There's storage underneath the uh, underneath the bed, as well as nice uh, closet space here. There's closet space over in the corner. Uh, but yeah, if you open up the door there, I mean a lot of a lot of room, nice seat. Yeah, cool. That is a full-on shower. No question about that. Yeah, and roll this up. I bought this carpet just to kind of help break up the decor. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's actually a cool carpet. It's a good <clears throat> color. What the? So. Is it loud in here? No, no, not at all. I guess you got that thermal whatever on the padding there but talk about working on the engines and everything and everything being easy access it looks like it's daytime down there it's huh? like super bright as uh, compared to over there I, I had lights there were lights put in the owner put lights in the prior owner put lights in down here step in there and actually squat down and look around just to see the access <laughs> Compared to either dot com or working on dot com. Yeah, it was a. And it's even though there's all this. Look at that generator. That, that's a serious generator right there. Yeah. Here's the full electrical Ooh. panel. Jeez. Uh, tank monitors. You know your 12 volt. Here's the collar generator start stop it actually monitor has the, the generator hours on the information on it there uh, of course and then the uh, 120 shore power over here mm -hmm. um, and then just your battery disconnects and whatnot down there But, uh, so we are way kind of up in the air compared to little dot column over there. Yeah, it's uh, you, you get some height up here. So you, there, but I mean you've got a little bit of swim platform. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit smaller than it's actually it's about the exact same size as dot coms, but I've got this dock box mm -hmm. that's on the back of it. Uh, probably shouldn't come up here. I've got cushions kind of laid around everywhere. It has a uh, bow and stern thrusters on it. Hmm. This is uh, um, this is where I'm ripping out. I'm having a new uh, Raymarine Axiom installed, so it's a 12 inch Axiom. Uh, Same as dot com. What this one is, yeah. And then I'm, I'm having a, a 12 inch uh, full color Axiom uh, put in. Here's your that's the in motion satellite from Pac Vision and a uh, little sink ice maker. Uh, although it's, you know, as I say, covered up by the, mm -hmm. um, but then these actually, so for people who are sitting back here, if you had canvas on, technically, this would all be completely sealed, yep. but I mean, you have the doors, um, that open and then, yeah, so with the, <clears throat> the pads down here, this is a great place to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you get pads on and you're hanging out. <clears throat> I'm still so cold, I'm like shivering. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we got the gimbal. Over there. Yeah. Because that's ultimately the dock that they're building out. Uh, and then I just put the lights up last night and clean this up a bit. But they're building out that dock. Uh, so she'll go right there. Yeah, it's going to be cool. And how big is this dock? Uh, that's or slip? 18 by uh, 50. 18 feet wide, 50 feet long. And how big is your platform you're building? 10 feet. 10 feet. Yeah. That gives me 40 to park the boat. Hey, Kelly. Morning. How's it going? Do I, hey, do I get credit for bringing Marshall? Do I get like a toaster or something? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll uh, mm. see what Corey has to say. This is the captain of the marina. Yes, I am. Here. How long you been doing this? Eight years. Eight years. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Three managing. You want to sell your marina to the people on YouTube? No. 
<laughs> yeah, how many Johns do we have? Four? John. John. John over here. Yeah. But I thought it also read that uh, being slip renters owners, we uh, get like a 10% discount over at the store or something the gas. for gas, yes. for the gas. But how do they know that it's us? They you are. just tell them. Yeah. You just, they just, it's an honor system. Yep. It's not, I don't need to show them anything. Right. Yeah. They do have the current customer list. They'll get one at the beginning of the oh, okay. So if it felt like they got out of hand, plus they're here all the time and they know the majority no, of the members. I, I was just in uh, uh, the prior owner uh, says he had it behind his house in Houston, and so he got he needed an extremely long quarter run from. I didn't know, even realize you had it hooked to this one. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, yeah, that, that's a super long. <clears throat> I'm still freezing. That's him. I was just yeah. trying to get him exercised a little bit. <clears throat> it's like, bro. It's like, oh, that would be nice. It, it, <laughs> if you just ignore that, Marshall will buy another one and bring it out here. Okay. <laughs> no, I was, but I was just doing so funny. Well, <clears throat> Marshall drives a little bit with the steering wheel, which is kind of a no no. In... Not too much. So far, I've only used this. Yeah. Marshall is actually one of the co-founders of Nautical Monkey and we kind of created it on this lake sitting on a boat on Lake Travis. How long ago was that Marshall? 2010? Yeah, eight years ago. 2010. So we were sharing a boat and we just couldn't find a good way to manage the share. So uh, we started, uh, we created a website so that we could do it. And then we discovered that nobody nobody else uh, had the ability to do it very well either. So we started allowing other people to come in for a small fee. So that's kind of how that thing started. Um, so the upgrade for Nautical Monkey is coming out probably in the spring. And that's going to be a massive upgrade. One of the cool things about it <clears throat> is that um, the regular site and the mobile site are just the same thing. So we don't have to redo the programming. Um, we don't have to program another kind of unique mobile site. Everything is one because we're just using a newer technology, uh, which is kind of super cool. So this is Clay. <clears throat> Clay's famous in a lot of ways. He's on stage and screen. Stage and screen. Uh, we were getting some white caps and a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. So I used the trim and was trimming it up a little bit. Of course the windless. Um, that's another change that I'm doing right now. The boat came with a uh, combination of uh, uh, road anchor uh, chain and rope and so uh, I'm gonna go uh, all chain in this lake. This lake is you can see around pretty rocky and uh, you don't want you I mean while it's certainly possible to anchor out here with uh, with rope this size boat if it gets caught on a rock you you're done you lose your anchor. So uh, I'm gonna switch it to uh, about 225 feet of all chain. So it looks like what was the process you went through to find and purchase this boat? Uh, well, I'm coming into park, so I'll try and make this somewhat quick. Uh, I uh, really kind of sat down and wrote out a list of requirements, the things that I definitely wanted. I mean, some of the things I got, some of the things I didn't get. One of my key requirements was I wanted uh, one that had two full bedrooms uh, that had you know two separate complete cabins. Uh, for separation and privacy, and then uh, I wanted uh, really, uh, you know, two heads were a luxury. Uh, you know, I wanted at least one, but two heads with a separate shower uh, was a requirement. I also wanted, I mean, one thing that I, I really kind of wanted was a retractable 
equivalent platform uh, that you could throw a jet ski on the back of. Does this have that? No, it does not. Mm. As I say, there, there are things that I got and there's things that I didn't get. I really like the hard top versus the canvas. This one's kind of different in the sense that I kind of got both. I mean, I do have a hard top back there under that mm -hmm. portion of the boat. This part is, is still canvas. Um, but, uh, you know, I, so really what it was is it started off with a list of requirements of what I liked, what I wanted, what I didn't want, the size boat I wanted, and obviously a budget of about what I wanted to pay. And, uh, and then, you know, it, it really was a matter of searching and you know continuing to search uh, for used boats and uh, because I, I didn't want to pay the price of a new boat um, mm -hmm. I just uh, I mean while there are advantages to of course purchasing a new boat uh, you know there are advantages to purchasing a used boat as well so really with anything you know just like buying a used car you need to have it fully inspected and make sure your mechanics completely check it out and feel comfortable. How many boats did you look at before you decided on this one? Uh, well, online, I mean, hundreds or thousands. I mean, just uh, tons and tons of boats, uh, uh, you know, in terms of uh, looking at, uh, at options. In terms of uh, being around dot com, being on uh, a formula and being on another boat for, you know, obviously 10 plus years or whatnot, I had a pretty good understanding and I had seen a lot of boats. I've been out on a lot of boats. I've actually never been out on a boat specifically like this one, though, if you think about it. So, um, actually, I'm going to take you down to the gas station, maybe, because I think you're going to have a little bit more open range and you don't have to use it right above you. Cool.